a confirmation number? Yeah, we do. It's right here. Excuse me? What do you think you're doing? What do you mean we're in line to get I'm, on the plane? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to them. Ma'am, I'm not in line. I work here. And I'll be with you in a minute. What are you doing with these people? Don't you realize I have miles with this airline? Oh, you should have said so. Well, in that case, you can go check in at the Platinum Lounge. Mom, do we have lounge access? I don't know about this lounge nonsense. Can't you see I have special needs? Passenger, can't you see? I don't know why you're flying to Las Vegas. Looks like you've already had too many buffets. Ma'am, why don't you just mind your own business? Yeah, I'm not fat, I'm pregnant. Here you go, I got you an upgrade. Premium economy, sweet. Let's go, honey. Finally, I get some service around here. Yes, we always give the best service to our Mileage Plus members. What status level are you? Mom, do we have status? Yes, we have nearly 100,000 miles. Let me look you up. What is your frequent flyer number? Oh, those miles are still on my credit card. I, I, I haven't transferred them over yet. Well, if you don't have miles in our system, what exactly is it that you want us to do for you today? Give us an upgrade like you did with that fat lady over there. You mean that pregnant woman? And why should you get an upgrade? Well, can't you tell I have a bad sacroiliac? Why don't you go park your sacroiliac over there? And I'll see what I can do. Fine. I don't know why anybody flies this airline. You try to be nice and look what happens. Let's go. I know, Mom. Get out. Dad, do you see that plane back there? Yeah, Russell, that's a big one. Yeah, that's the Airbus 380, the biggest passenger aircraft on this planet. Oh, really? Are there bigger ones on other planets? I don't know, but it turns out that it's so hard to build, they only made 251 of them. Really? Is that what we're flying on? I mean, we're only going to Las Vegas. No, that one's Orion Air. I don't think they fly here. All I know is this jumbo jet talk is making me hungry. Go get us something to eat. Okay, Dad. Oh, hi, Maria. <laughs> hi, Captain Connors. Are you flying to Las Vegas today? That's right. I've only been doing the Vegas run lately. Good, because I brought you a surprise. A surprise? <laughs> really, what is it? Uh, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. You didn't have to cut me off. Like man. Man, we were nothing. But I'll give you a hint. A hint? Okay, I'll bite. Maybe you will when you find out what it is! Sophia has a surprise it's for the pilot. What could it be? Here, Dad, your favorite. Oh, it must be hot dogs. I said his favorite. Oh, don't tell me. Chili dogs? 
Oh, yeah. Look at those people. What are they eating? It must be something from the snack bar. Well, they shouldn't be allowed. Well, if they sell it in the airport, I think you're allowed to eat it. Not if I have anything to do with it. I'm gonna tell the airline. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? We seem to have a problem. I don't have any problem. What's yours? Those people over there. They've got chili dogs. Uh, I don't know what chili dogs are, but all animals are supposed to be checked with your bags. No, that's not what they are. They're stinky. And you eat them. People with dogs in the airport? That's why we have a problem. You've got to tell them no. Yes, you're right. They can't eat them. Yes, it's that family right over there. Excuse me, but you can eat that. What? Since when can't you eat food at an airport? I'm sorry, sir, but the smell of your chili dogs is bothering this woman right there. Yeah, well, you know, the smell of her perfume is bothering me. Maybe you should kick her out. Well, sir, if you want to eat, you have to go to the restaurant right here. Oh, great. We don't have time for that. Yeah. Miss, aren't we allowed to take food on the plane? Fine, as long as you don't eat it here. That's okay. We already have our food. Karen has been complaining about the other passengers. What else will she complain about? Hi, I'm First Officer Cruz. Oh, you must be Chip. Yeah, today's my first day. Oh, you must be second chair with Captain Connors. I've heard a lot about him. He's a legend around here. Good luck. His last three first officers quit. Uh-oh. Oh, Ted, look, here's our plane now. It looks like a 757-200. What's the difference between that and a regular 757? Because it typically carries 200 passengers. Unlike the 300, which carries 243 passengers, under the, the normal configuration. That's pretty interesting, Junior. How did you learn about all this? Oh, X-Plane Flight Simulator. I played on the iPad you got me last birthday. See, honey, I told you it would be a valuable educational experience. No. Honey, over here. I knew they'd have them. Whatever makes you not nervous to fly. Let's get this one. Perfect. I think he's playing a game. Well, he shouldn't be allowed. Well, Mom, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I can. I'm going to tell the airlines. Hi. Re remember me? Oh, 
you're the lady with the miles on the credit card that didn't transfer to the airline. Well, when you're through being all uptight, I want to tell you about another problem. Oh, I just can't wait to hear what it is. Uh, there's a kid uh, over there. Making all kinds of noise playing on his iPod. And what do you suggest I do? I don't know. Make him turn it off. It's bothering my inner ear balance. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do, given your importance. <sighs> well, that's more like it. I hate to interrupt, but that woman over there says that the sound is bothering her. What noise? This is a lot more quiet than the airplanes that are taking off. Uh, whose idea was it for you to play it in the airport? My dad. He gave it to me. Oh, no, no, no. It was, it was her idea. Well, can you at least put some headphones on so I don't get any more complaints from that woman? Sure, I got some headphones in my bag. Now Karen is bothered by Russell's game. Will she ever stop? Oh, would you look at them now? What is it, Mom? Never mind. I'll take care of this. Well, that didn't work. What is it now? Those headphones he's using are bothering my daughter's hearing aids. Oh, your daughter has hearing aids? Yes. Why do you think her hair is down? Fine. I will talk to them about it. Excuse me, young man. What is it now? I hate to say this, but those headphones are bothering that woman over there. What doesn't bother her? Apparently, the headphones are bothering her daughter's hearing aids. Oh, I'm sure it's the headphones and not every other thing that's going on in this airport. Does the FAA approve headphones? Well, actually, these headphones are IEEE certified to not create interference in a consumer environment. I was just about to say that. That's very interesting, but can you just please just mute them? Yeah, if she puts herself on mute. Totally Airways Flight 299 non-stop to Las Vegas will now commence boarding. Passengers, welcome to Totally the Airlines Flight 225 headed to Las Vegas. Please make sure that your seatbelt is fastened and your tray tables are in the upright and locked position. Please refrain from using portable electronic devices until we reach cruising altitude. And have a nice flight! 
Tower, this is Tolly Airlines, 225, requesting permission to take off. 225, you're cleared on runway 16. Roger that, Tower. What is it? It's my grandma's special recipe from my home country. It's seafood. <laughs> that came all the way from your grandma? Yeah, but it's still good. It's frozen. Um, that's okay. I'm not hungry. All right. I'm gonna give it to the pilots then. The pilots? A special treat for you. Oh, really? What is it? That's my grandmother recipe of Dulce Feijoada. Don't say fish kebabs? What is that? Oh, it's a special South America sweet shrimp. Sweet shrimp? That sounds good. All the way from South America? Oh, don't worry, it's frozen up. This looks like it's cold. Is it okay to eat? It's okay, you get used to it. Okay, here goes. Last one to eat's a rotten egg. Hey, you guys hungry? Yeah, I wonder if they're serving food. <laughs> I could go for a chili dog. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. You and I are on the same page, son. Do you like it? It's some more. Here, Captain Connors, have another one. I don't know. I'm not feeling too good. You don't want to hurt her feelings. <sighs> right. Look at him over there, eating that food. I think they're allowed to. Well, they shouldn't be, unless they brought enough for everybody. Well, I'm going to take care of this. Remember me? How can I forget? It's those people! They brought the chili dogs on the plane! Okay, what's wrong with that? It's bothering all the passengers. Not me, of course. Okay, fine. I will go talk to them about it. What's with this shrimp? can't fly any longer. Hey Chip, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Must have been something I ate. Russell, what's going on? It's probably just turbulence. What's turbulence? It's like a bumpy road, but in the air. There you are! It's like you've been hiding! What is it now? That kid, he's playing some kind of aircraft game! Okay, so what's wrong with that? You've got to do something about it! Here, Captain Connors, I'll give you the last one! No! Captain Connors, out! Captain Connors!
this turbulence is getting worse. But Dad, that's not turbulence. Monique, this is First Officer Cruz. I'm afraid Captain Connors is out, and I'm about to take medical leave. Get somebody else to fly this plane. Ugh. Both pilots passed out. What's gonna happen to the plane? Chip, are you there? Chip, Monique, what is wrong? The pilots, they're sick, they can't fly. It must be the airline food. I never trust that. Well, you calm down the passengers. I'm gonna go try to find a pilot on board. Okay. I don't think I like this airline job. Attention passengers, if there's anyone that can fly the airplane, please report to the cockpit. What's this about needing a pilot? I don't know. Can you fly? No. Pilot? Why do they need a pilot? Oh, Mom, I'm sure it's just a formality. Formality? It's not a formality! Again. If there's a pilot on board, please report to any flight attendant. Oh, sir, are you a pilot? No, but my son knows how to fly. I do? Well, in that case, please come with me. Okay. Dad wants Russell to fly the plane. Now what? my instructions and we'll try and get this thing down safely. Let's start by reducing power. Okay, I'm reducing power. You're gonna need to lower the flaps. Flaps, okay, I know what that is. You're gonna need to descend. Use your trim. Oh, Trim? I know what that is. Don't forget to lower your landing gear. Landing gear? Where's that? It's the knob on the floor. Oh, uh, okay. I've landed. Now what? Brakes, okay. I got that, just like driving school. Passengers, we have landed safely, and thank you for flying Totally Airlines. Russell saved the passengers. Yippee! But what happens when he eats too many chili dogs? I can't believe we got a free trip to England.